Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, we go over Intel's 12th gen release, AMD's turn CPUs get up to 256 cores, next gen GPUs officially require what, and Intel officially reveals their Monster Arc Alchemist GPU specs. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, Intel finally unveiled their 12th gen lineup of CPUs, along with their new Z690 chipset, which are available for pre-order. And of course, if you're interested, I'll have affiliate links in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything more and it helps the channel out. Either way, the specs actually leaked just before the event, so I went over them yesterday, but there's a few more things to cover. For starters, Intel not only showed off gaming performance compared to the 5950X, but also against their 11900K, and it's definitely a nice jump over last gen. Of course, as always, know that these are likely cherry-picked examples, but still, definitely not bad. Then there's content creation when compared to the 11900K, and given the jump in core count, these numbers aren't surprising at all. They also gave some performance numbers for certain content creation workflows, and the numbers there definitely aren't bad. Next up, they go over the fact that Alder Lake supports PCI Express 5.0 with up to 16 lanes from the CPU. And of course, DDR5 support, though some boards only support DDR4. Really, a lot of the stuff they go over we've already seen in leaks. Let's just say that Alder Lake was one of the worst kept secrets out there, but hopefully it's as good as Intel says. But first, if you're ready for a career in tech, or just want to know how it all works, it's time to learn the right way with today's sponsor. Brilliant, the online STEM learning platform that helps teach you by having you actually do it, meaning instead of reading or listening to some lecture, Brilliant helps you learn the concepts by visualizing and interacting with them. Plus, they're constantly updating courses to make them even more interactive. And speaking of courses, they've got something for everyone, from the basics of computer science to neural networks or a deep dive into memory. So don't wait any longer and learn the right way by visiting brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamermelt, or check out the link in the description below. Next up for today, it looks like AMD and Nvidia's upcoming GPUs won't be the only power hogs when it comes to future hardware. In a new tweet from leaker Executable Fix, he claims that AMD's upcoming Epic Turin CPUs actually come with a maximum CTDP of 600 watts. For those who don't know, Epic Turin should be built on AMD's Zen 5 architecture and is set to come after their Zen 4 Epic Genoa CPUs. And interestingly enough, 600 watts looks to be the peak power for more than a millisecond for AMD's upcoming SP5 socket, at least according to the leaked documents. Now, before anyone gets upset, don't forget that this is a server chip, and while it may sound like bad news, it almost certainly means that AMD is set to add far more cores than Zen 5. In fact, leaker Graymon55 claims that Zen 5 Epic should come with up to a whopping 256 cores and 512 threads, and that likely means Ryzen will see more cores as well. Of course, Zen 5 won't be released for a couple years, but it's still interesting to see where AMD is going. Next up for today, if you've been following the channel, you know that rumors have been circulating on a new power connector for future GPUs. Yes, even a newer one than the 12-pin connector found on NVIDIA's Founders Edition 30 cards. This connector is rumored to be a new one built for the PCI Express 5.0 standard, and it looks like ASUS just confirmed it. During a special event on Intel's Z690 boards, ASUS discussed a new line of high-wattage PSUs, and in the article on it, they state, quote, the ROG Thor series isn't just poised to provide clean, reliable power in large quantities today. They'll prepare your PC for the future, too. The PCI Express 5.0 standard includes a new high-capacity auxiliary connector that packs 12 conductors into a single cable. So there you have it, a new 12-pin connector is coming. And of course, that's different than the 16-pin connector we recently saw from Igor's lab. But he even said that it likely won't be that exact connector. Either way, this makes it official, 
and it could be coming as early as the 3090 Ti. Remember that video cards originally claimed that the 3090 Ti would likely be getting a new connector, and the ASUS rep actually used the 3090 as an example of a GPU with a very high peak wattage. Basically, while they likely will make adapters, we're all probably going to need new PSUs before long. And speaking of needing new PSUs for monster GPUs, Intel officially confirmed the specs for their upcoming Arc Alchemist GPUs. During their innovation event, you can see that they show Alchemist comes with up to 32 XE cores. And since each XE core has 16 vector engines and 16 matrix engines, we're looking at 512 EUs, meaning the leaks we've seen so far seem to be extremely accurate. And that means Alchemist should really compete with some higher end GPUs. And even if that means around a 3070 Ti, that's honestly impressive for Intel's first real go at this. Not only that, but Intel showed off more gameplay with their upcoming super sampling tech meant to rival NVIDIA's DLSS and AMD's super resolution. Finally, they showed off Alchemist using Deep Link, which seems to be Intel using both the integrated GPU and their CPU along with the discrete GPU. Intel once described it as, quote, aggregates multiple processing engines through a common software framework to bring new capabilities and better performance to PCs. Basically, they're claiming that you get more performance when you pair an Intel CPU with one of their GPUs. Ultimately, Intel's upcoming discrete GPUs are looking really exciting. Of course, the real question will be availability. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Intel's discrete gaming GPUs or are you just bummed about the new power connector? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.